Hi everyone, it's Lulu. How are you today? I felt like just coming on and saying hello. It's interesting, I am, honestly, you've probably noticed an uptick in my videos. I'm lonely, and it's not that I have lack of human contact. I have plenty. I Even you know, just through my job, I have quite a bit, and my family is here. I've got two sons, lots of friends. I'm on Facebook all the time. But there's something about sitting down and talking to you all that just makes me feel good. So there you have it. I think I'm far away from the camera. I have more makeup on today than I normally do. And I went for a very summery, bronzy, peachy, not bronzy really, more peachy look. And um, so those are the eyes. I can't see how close I am. How close am I? And orangey kind of frosty lips. But you know, what I really wanted to chat about was this incredible foundation I just bought. It's Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. On some of the channels that I watch, I've kind of noticed a little bit of an uptick talking about it. It is beautiful on mature skin. I applied twice and I use a brush. Now I stipple it on. I don't use a stippling brush. I use, I should have brought it with me. But it's a, it's almost like a blush brush because it's, it's not uh, as dense as like the, the Sigma F80s or a lot of the other foundation buffing brush, brushes. This is a looser brush, almost a powder brush. And what I do is I tap it in, I, you know, I put it in here, and then I just keep tapping, 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 and spreading it. And I put two layers on today only because I'm filming. It leaves a very, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say dewy, because to me, dewy is almost wet, you know, almost like wet. So I'm going to say radiant or luminous finish. I personally set it with this new to me Catrice Healthy Look Mattifying Powder and Translucent. It's really nice. It doesn't make you flat and it doesn't give a white or ashy cast. To me, a lot of those translucent powders are not, so I like them with a little bit of color. And you can see this has kind of yellows and beiges and pinks. Really like this. I bought the Wet n Wild I Am. NC30 so I am medium as medium as can be if I had to lean one way or the other I would lean medium light and I have yellow undertone so I, not peach that's for sure not golden and I bought this in 119 buff beige and it says medium warm it is I'm gonna say this is almost neutral it almost has an olivey brown it, it, it was a perfect color on me and they always don't, don't, if you ever get these, you'll know that these always look much darker, much darker when they're in the cushion. I store mine upside down so that, you know, the foundation, and the beautiful thing about these, although they are bulky, they are great to carry for touch-ups. I strongly recommend this. I think it's $8 if it's not on sale. I very much like the Maybelline and I also like the L'Oreal for the very same reasons, but they are twice the price. So if your issue with those is, geez, you get so little and they're so expensive and it's drugstore, get this one. It is gorgeous for mature skin. It, it The finish is lovely. It blurs. Um, I've not used it with a beauty blender. I know a lot of people do like to use these with beauty blenders. I happen to like the larger kind of blush powder kind of a brush, but uh, very, very nice, very nice indeed. And uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. And hopefully I am glowing and I'm peachy and uh, loving, loving these Essence Metal Shock Liquid Eyeshadows. I did an unboxing on my Facebook. I did a Facebook Live, so it's still up there. And my face is public, uh, Lulu B, L-U-L-U -L -U space B, B-E-A. And someone I watch again, a channel that I watch, uh, said that these were as good as the Stila Glisten. What is it? Glisten and Glow. And I have one of those. Love it. These are as good, maybe better. This one is One Second to Mars. It's a... Well, you can see. It's a it's an apricotty, peachy, maybe some would call this rose gold. It's a, If it is, it's a deep rose gold. I put it on, I keep my lids closed, I let it dry so it doesn't transfer. I'm going to go back and get all the lighter shades in this, I think. There's eight or nine, maybe ten shades, but I'm going to get the lighter ones. Fabulous, just fabulous. 
And in my crease, I have the Milani Most Love Mattes palette. And I used this very sienna orangey. And under the brow bone, I used this. So not the lightest, but one of the lighter shades. I'm feeling it. I feel dialed up. And I even used color under my eye. I used that same sienna and then with the deeper brown under my eyes. I never do anything under my eyes. Yeah. Put extra volume, not extra volume, but extra mascara on. I used a primer, the L'Oreal Voluminous primer. And then uh, the Lash Princess Essence Mascara, I think the, uh, the uh, pink one. There's a pink, there's a green, and there's a purple. The casing is black, but the design around it is either pink, that actually looks melon, green, that's a very minty green, and then purple is a lighter purple, the design. And to me, I can't tell the difference between any of them. I've done one eye in one, and one in the other, and the other, and I can't tell a difference at all, but that's me. So it's uh, kind of warm out. It's uh, not as humid as it has been, but it's humid. And it is probably in the mid, to, I don't have my phone, I'm going to say mid to upper 80s, maybe mid 80s, but I'm sitting in the shade as you can tell. And my hair is down and I am sweating. So as soon as I'm done with this, I will be washing my face <laughs> and putting my hair off. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Those of us who make videos are no stitches. I don't know why. I talk a lot during the day. I, I talk, you know, for work and things like that. Does my nose itch? No, but somehow somebody should write a thesis about that. Why does oh, a breeze? Thank you. Oh, it's miserable. Uh, have done a lot of uh, makeup shopping, a lot of drugstore level makeup shopping lately and so far I'm liking everything that I got. I had the 20% off sale from coupon, uh, coupon from Ulta. Sephora had a few things I wanted and then so, uh, Ulta had a really great uh, had a really great 4th, 4th of July like from Sunday to the to Wednesday huge sale. I got a lot of brushes. The a limited edition Real Technique brushes. You can watch my unboxing on my Facebook page and I am really liking Ulta's brushes. They redid them maybe a year or two or three ago, and I'm liking the face brushes. I've not tried any of the eye brushes, but the face, the powder brush is wonderful. The blush brush is wonderful. I, tr I bought, I have not tried them yet, two, two interesting shaped foundation brushes, and I think I bought the highlighter brush, which is okay. I'm looking, I'm just gonna have to give in and buy the Anastasia one, and I don't know why I'm resisting it. I have absolutely no idea. Although one of the foundation brushes from Ulta, one of it's, again, it's very interesting, um, might, might work. So that's about it. So I hope you all have a great day and uh, enjoy yourselves. Hope you liked my visit. I liked my visit. Uh, thank goodness Banks is not barking. Uh, but just wanted to, more than anything, wanted to come in and show you this crazy look of mine. It's not crazy, it's lovely. It's just, it's just not me at all. And then also wanted to share the really good news on this foundation. Just fabulous foundation. Y'all take care. You have a great day. Bye-bye.